Right there, Mark. Thank you. And today happens to be the start of the last big travel weekend of the summer, Labor Day weekend. Millions will likely take to the skies nationwide, including from Bradley International Airport. And that's where Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dennis Valera has been all day today. He's joining us live there right now with more on how things are going tonight. Dennis. Mark, things have been going very good. A lot of people are making their way through security, catching their flights. On the monitors right now, there is one cancellation as well as a few delays, but relatively smooth today, this Thursday. However, even with things being relatively smooth, many travelers being very cautious because we have just seen a summer riddled with cancellations and delays all over airports in the country. I can't. I'm so early. I can't even check in yet. Oh. I can't check my bag yet. Shelly Otto just wanted to be sure. She got herself to the airport four hours early just in case something happened. Driving down from Northfield, Massachusetts. That park and fly. I guess so. I was. I wanted to be there early, and if I had any problems, you know, just to be early and not miss anything. The caution stemming from a headache her sister had this summer. My sister went away recently. She went on a cruise and their, I know their flight was delayed, so I'm hoping that I don't get delayed. Miriam Russell is heading to Miami, Florida with friends. Bradley is her airport and she's traveled a lot this summer. Never got hit with a delay or cancellation, but she's here early just in case, like Shelly. So I was just like, oh my God, what would happen if we didn't get our flights today? <laughs> it sounds like everything's in order though, right? So far, so far so good. Do you know things change by the second. For the Labor Day weekend, Bradley is expecting potentially 47,000 travelers in their airport, saying it'll be an increase for sure, but more manageable than other summer holiday weekends. But overall, the summer's been pretty good. Airport leadership said they've made it through pretty unscathed during the announcement of a brand new direct flight to Montego Bay in Jamaica starting in December by Spirit Airlines. On many fronts, it's been a great summer for us uh, here at Bradley. Uh, as you know, we continue to recover from the pandemic. Now, just in time for the Labor Day weekend, the U.S. Department of Transportation launched a customer service dashboard for those who may have gotten a cancellation or a delay. A link to that will be on the Channel 3 app. Also, AAA is saying that many drivers will be out on the road for this holiday weekend, and the traffic will be at pre-pandemic levels. We're live here at Bradley International Airport. Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.